What is happening guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at another couple of items from Essentials. I already did a video on this in the past for their second release. I think it was their second collection. You guys seem to really enjoy the video. I got a lot of good feedback from the video. So when they offered me the chance to take a look at a couple of other items from their lineup, I happily jumped on it. Again, you guys seem to enjoy it. I really enjoyed it. I thought it would just be a, a easy, quick, and fun video for everybody. So today we are going to take a look at a couple more items from essentials and as always i'm happy to offer you guys an opinion All right, once again, thank you so much for being here today. I really hope everyone is having a great weekend. I am going to skip the long brand introduction here. I'm going to assume all of you know what Essentials is for the most part. I did do another video on them, like I said recently. It was like a couple of months back or something like that, but I'll toss that up here at the top there so you can check that out if you do need a full brand introduction. But the short of it is Essentials is a clothing brand made by Jose of Teaching Men's Fashion, and they offer a lot of different things with in their collections that are released periodically and what I specifically liked about them last time and what I was interested in seeing this time is how their fit would fit me I mean really I felt like the brand made sizes that fit a guy like me who's clearly not thin and fit I mean finding stuff like this for someone like me is usually a bit of a hassle but last time I thought they did a pretty good job and I was interested in seeing if this time they would do it again before we get too far into this thing though I do want to say the item I'm showcasing here today are not from the latest essential collection. I, I know some of you are probably excited to see some of those. I was excited myself, but when they reached out to me to make this video last month, those items weren't yet available and they weren't going to be able to send them in time or something like that. I'm not fully sure, but what they did offer me, what, what they did ask me to do was choose some items that were left over from the previous collection. I'm not fully sure what the details were on all that, honestly, but on my end, what they, what they asked me to do was to choose some stuff from what was was left on their site before the new that before this new collection dropped. So what was left over from the previous collection and I was you know weighing it out I was thinking about you know does this actually make a lot of sense should I do this and then I got you know I kind of started to think about it that even though the new collection stuff is the highlights the stuff that everybody wants to see there's still other items like this on the site that had been previously released and that might interest some of you as well also by looking at these items we're able to get some sort of info about the brand itself too which to me is still valuable to someone like me who's making a video for people like this i want to get a, a full and complete picture of not just the items but the brand itself so that that gives me a lot of information to then pass on to you guys so here's what I got to show you today we got this blue hoodie here I'm wearing it right now I was really interested in seeing how they would do this one specifically because in the past hoodies with me are notorious for not fitting right I mean either they're too tight in the stomach area or they're too tight in the arms it can get super annoying so I was for sure interested in seeing how theirs would work out with me next we do have these blue chinos and these track pants we also have a long sleeve burgundy polo and a long sleeve gray shirt first up is this hoodie here and I did this first because this has to be probably my favorite item out of all the ones that I've looked at from this brand I mean in my opinion this here is a hoodie done right I mean it's comfortable it's soft and the fit for me is just perfect and I knew it instantly when I threw it on here it's loose right here in this in the front where I need it to be you know my midsection it's you know nice and comfortable it's not too tight there it's not too tight in the arms you can see you got all this movement there and it's just not very constricting but there's a difference too it's tight in the shoulders like this it, it fits really well in the shoulders and that's I've never had that before that was something that I it was kind of like one of those moments where like you never knew you liked it until you had it like if somebody came to me a couple of weeks ago and said hey if you could design the perfect hoodie how would you make it I never would have suggested making the the shoulders more form-fitting the thought never even crossed my mind but again now that I have it now that I'm wearing it I I freaking love it I I absolutely love it I think it worked out really well let's move on to the long sleeve shirt here now this one here it was pretty nice I mean there wasn't a real clouds opening up sun shining and choir singing moment when I put this on but I was overall satisfied with it because I felt the fit was right I can't tell you how annoying it is when you look at the sizing system you, you're like okay I know my chest 
best size. I'm gonna get this. This looks like it should work. And then you get it in the mail and you're like, why is it three sizes too small? I mean, those kinds of brands seriously drive me nuts when the larges are actually medium or smalls in some cases. And then you gotta go to a 2X or a 3X just to get it not skin tight. I mean, seriously, fat guy problems over here. But what I appreciated here was was beyond the fit. I mean, obviously the fit was right or else I'd, I'd be saying it sucked. Next up though, we have the burgundy polo and this was one that I was super interested in actually because the last polo I tried from Essentials didn't fit well at all. I mean, it was too tight. I didn't really care much for the design of it at all and this one here was totally different. I mean, first off, the design was completely different. It looked like a completely different polo and then the material was completely different as well. It was much more comfortable. This is is a much softer material, much more comfortable to put on, and then the fit was spot on for me. The other one, like I said, it was a large and it was skin tight, but it was skin tight and then and, and it was like skin tight in the chest, but it was loose in the arms. It was just it was a really awkward fit. This one here, spot on, absolutely what I was expecting, what I was hoping it would be, I should say. So I thought they did a really good job this time around with the polo. It really, it wasn't too tight, it wasn't too long. I thought it was just right on the money for me. Moving Moving on though to the pants, we got two and I have to admit here, I'm really not too experienced with these things. When I saw the word chinos and track pants, I'm like, well, what's the difference between the two, honestly? But when I got them in my hands and, you know, did a little bit of reading, I, I quickly saw the differences and real quick, the, the chinos, their chinos, I should say, have a thicker fabric for sure. And after looking up what chinos are, I read that was pretty much the norm with these types of pants and wearing them I saw overall that they looked and felt pretty good I did think they were a tiny bit too tight in the hips but I that might just be me again you know I don't wear chinos all that often maybe they're supposed to be like that but that's just what I saw so that's what I'm reporting the track pants on the other hand I I did think those were really nice they were really soft again I mean I got a lot of stuff this time around that were just really soft and really comfortable these ones fit really nice I did get the large size by the way for both pants and overall all, really there's not much more to say I mean the track pants they fit well I did not think these were too tight in any portion of them I thought they fit really nicely I, again I got the large and I thought the fabric on it was super nice I mean you could wear these all day and just be the happiest of campers it's freaking awesome but overall there's not much more to say on these I don't feel really comfortable here just trying to make these out to be the greatest track pants I've ever set my eyes on, you know, and and they're, they're magical. And, it, you know, I, I think you guys can see right through that. In other words, if you want my honest opinion, they're very nice track pants. They fit well. They appear to be of great quality. And I think that's the same with all the other items that I've looked at here. And it's been my experience overall with the Essentials brand. The hoodie and the polo, especially, I think those were the highlights for me here. Those are the two things that I really enjoyed from looking at this the second time. And I think you can take that information and apply it to the new releases. But that's just my opinion after looking at the stuff that I've received from them here and in the last video. If you would, though, like to check out Essentials, again, I do highly recommend them. And if you'd like to check them out for yourself, a link will be in the description there if you're interested. I do want to also thank you very much for checking out this video here today. Make sure you tap that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. That's a huge help to me and a huge help to this channel. Thank you once again. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.